Hi guys, Brian here from Mindful Line. Just doing a just doing a video really. Um, I've been playing around with Zen Gem, I think they call it. Which I thought looked pretty cool. So I thought I'd do one of those by have a chat. Just drawing a rough thing here. Um, I'm on a layer that's not got assistance on because I'm doing colouring and I'm using my cloudy brush. Have you seen that? Just changing the subject. Have you seen that new setting? Um, let me show you where I've done it. I did make one. There, see where this one here? This brush is actually this brush but with the smooth turned on. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. If you go to pencil, oop, the pen pressure, the smoothing option there. If I turn that off for a minute, like that, and I'll show you. Uh, let draw a line. Then I'm gonna press down on the pen and then lift up. Actually, this doesn't, it's not actually giving you a really good effect there, is it? Um, Anyway, I'm going to turn it on so we can see the difference. So what it does is supposed to smooth out that pressure, so it's not so, you know what I mean. But it's not really a good example. But it is good, trust me. <laughs> Let me try and um, do it again. Turn that off. It's on size. Maybe if I make the brush bigger. Go. Now I'm pushing down and now I'm lifting up. You see that that bit there, the way it sort of shoots up like that. So if I turn on smoothing, don't put it right out because it's, it's, it's actually too much I think. But I would try and do the same thing again. Now I'm pressing down, lifting up. It smooths it out. Probably needs a little bit more there actually. I've got that up to max. Yeah, but probably best not to have that on max either. Just take that down a little bit, that down a little bit. Now if I do it, just uh, smooths it out. Anyway, get rid of that. Bum, 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 bum. And I just basically, what I did is, I just duplicated the brush and then renamed it and put the smoothing on. So I can get, you know, a variation of the same brush. But for now, I'm going into my color. I'm gonna see what color set I'm using. I'm using, start off with the lightest color. And I'm using my cloudy. And I'm on a layer. Anyway. Um, what I should have done really is masked, but mm, can't be asked. So, yeah, I think I'm going to have the light source bouncing here. I filled the actual bottom layer with white, um, just because it just makes things simpler. Now you're probably thinking, why can't I just pre-fill this whole thing? Because I'm looking for the actual texture of this brush. I haven't lifted the pen yet, so... There we go. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the slightly darker one. And as you see I'm overlapping. Oh yeah. It's not really that noticeable, is it? What I do like to do though is I like to come down because these edges have really got to be quite dark. Just come in there a little bit. Blend it up. 
The reason I do it this way as well is because it's the same method as you'd use if you were doing it with a pen and paper. So I quite like to train my, um, you know, the, what's it called, that muscle which you get. <laughs> Going to a slightly darker one now and we're going to start that in the top bit there. The good thing about doing um, Zen Gems is that you're so, I find them so relaxing and you can just make them look like anything you want. You see how that's very subtle blending. I'm going to come round that edge there. I know I'm going over the um, line there, but I'm not really that fussed because I can always delete it. That's the beauty of digital. There we go. Now I'm going to just put some lines, make it a bit streaky. There we go. Okay, see this, how that's going. And what we're going to do, we're going to put some veins in, but I need to put the veins on a different layer um, and change the brush. So let's see what that comes out like. So, I like having a lot of age. Right, but what we're going to do with that, and normally you're, if you're doing it on paper, we'd you know, blend that in, but with the beauty of digital, we could just go to Gaussian Blur and do that. Yeah. Voila. Um, so, I'm going to put another layer in. Go to my brush. I want to make the brush smaller and not so opaque. What I want to do is I need to go around the edge. Worried too much about being, you know, with all this because I am going to mask it and delete all that. I think I just want to do it. Take this. You can do this with any brushes, really. You don't have to use my brushes. I'm just using my brushes because I made them. I like them. Um, I'm trying to cut down on buying brushes and stuff. Just use what I got. Look. Now you see how that looks. What we're going to do now is we're going to blow it a little bit. So we're going to come in. There we go. There you go, like that. If you're doing it with pen, obviously, we'd be, you know doing it that way now we will we what, what I want to do is I want to go opposite to this light source because that's where the lights coming out so we're gonna go in to about there I should imagine so uh, new layer white um, and we want it quite strong this light so I'm gonna pick that brush And we're going to go about there. So that's where I want the light. So let's come in. Let's get the brush in. There we go. And the light is coming in. Oh yeah. But don't worry, it looks a bit. <clears throat> but we're going to blur that up so comes to the foggy brush. I'm just gonna give that a bit of a shine. Maybe a bit too much there, come on. Maybe take that down a bit. There we go. And we can put a bit of that little sheen around, can't we? Around the edge. 
Okay. Oh yeah. Come back to our brush there because this is where the magic happens. Where we can come in and do stuff like that. Get off. Mm. What we could do is push is find colour on the colour wheel that's opposite that. Oh we look at green are we? So green maybe then. Come in here, maybe lighten that green right down up there. Brush cloudy cloudy. Um, we're doing a new layer just in case it doesn't work and take it down and what we're going to do is just, just see if we can do a, 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 a nova colour universe but I forget what you call that now Not really coming out, is it? Hmm. Let me try and multiply. Well, I was hoping it was going to sort of be like an overall blend to unify it all, but can't really notice it. Like so. Now, clean up. Cleaning up. A spooge. What one's that? That one. If I do it on that one, not really. Do that. Come into my rubber. Hoping this is going to work. Right, done that one. I'm going to go on that one. Rubber. Just cleaning that. Doesn't have to be perfect. That's good. Back to our pen. And what I could do while I'm doing all this is come in here again, select that one, select that, do that, invert, come up here, here, add a layer, come into get a dark grey. Try with that one. What I'm looking for, that's not working. Let's go black then. What I'm looking for is that sort of effect. I am going to um, Gaussian blur it anyway. It doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, if it's not perfect, it'll probably work better. Just darkening that up a bit. Like so. And then what I can do is come in here, take that off, select that one, Gaussian blur. Just taking off the edge just a little bit. And voila! My 
pad, as you know, is not the best. That's the general idea. I mean, it's not brilliant, but it's just fun to, to muck about with and make. It just takes your mind off of your problems and brings you into this moment. And so that's Zen Gems. Uh, quite good fun. And uh, I think they look, look nice. I could change the background because you can see the white coming through there. So I could change this background colour maybe to. Nope. Maybe we could do a light pink. Maybe, I don't know. And then maybe I could make that white again. Maybe that's a bit too bright. Yeah. Maybe if I take that down a little bit. There you go. That's a bit better. Oh. So that's what I've been playing around with, um, really. Um, remember that we got um, the website community there um, on a mindful line. Uh, pop along there, you can get my brushes there for one dollar. Something went wrong, I couldn't, for some reason I can't change it to be free, but it's one dollar. And uh, if you want to use these brushes. Um, also, um, there's some other stuff on there which uh, Ken's put on there, which is really good. And you, you're more than welcome to go there and um, publish your stuff there. You know, just get involved. It's just a, it's just a community, really, uh, that we're trying to trying to build. And uh, obviously, the more people we get in there, the better. Yes, sir. Anyway, um, talk again soon. Just a really just a little video, little catch up video really, a little chat. If you haven't subscribed yet, um, show your love and give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of outdoor dory videos soon, so I'm trying, I think, uh, I'm hoping to be going over to Spain. And I wanted to go out and about with um, Insti, which is the 360 camera I use, and do some vlogging out there and do some, you know, meditation and stuff in Spain wouldn't that be cool España <laughs> okay talk again soon be good out there take care